who know the Shadow Lords are a special kind of Garou. You could say that they do some of our job for us. They certainly do a decent work of spreading dissent, separating the Garou nation, turning werewolf against werewolf, trying to bring down Gaia's power structure. Hmm. We might as well all just stay in bed while the Shadow Lords do their work. The main issue is that the Shadow Lords have an aim. They have a goal. They know what they want to do, and they are getting very, very close. Allow me to explain. The Shadow Lords would see themselves put on top of the heap of the Garu Nation. The Shadow Lords would see the old Silver Fang monarchy eradicated, put the Silver Fangs back down to being fodder or whatever it is the Silver Fangs do best, because it sure as hell isn't ruling. And the Shadow Lords feel that as soon as they get to that position, well, they will rule the Garu Nation better than any other tribe has before or will do ever after. My main issue with the Shadow Lords is they're probably right. You see, the Shadow Lords are unafraid to get their hands or claws dirty. History has shown that their various packs have been willing and able to consort with vampires just as readily as they engage with we canites on the field of battle, or in our castles, or in our skyscrapers, or indeed anywhere else. The Shadow Lords have a long and tempestuous relationship with vampires of Eastern Europe, and Russia, Romania, that kind of area. But it seems that they often get into these relationships with vampires as well. They will trade information. And the worst thing about these Shadow Lords is they often get one up on the vampires. Because vampires underestimate them. We often feel, and I speak for the Canite race here rather than Pentex, we often feel that there is no way a werewolf can have a solid head on his shoulders. There is no way that a werewolf can reason, rationalise, come to conclusions based on data. A werewolf is a creature of impulse, of rage. Certainly the Shadow Wolves are just as prone to rage as any other tribe and they will tear a servant of the worm limb from limb without much cause. However, they are also capable of grand scheming and manipulations, enough to make us quite jealous. Now, where do we come in, Pentex? Well, that's the interesting thing. Whilst the Shadow Lords, as leaders of the Garo Nation, would, I believe, channel it towards giddy new heights, I suspect they lack some of the moral compunction of the Silver Fangs, they would certainly instill more breeding programs, and the Silver Fangs, whilst being fond of those within their own tribe, are not necessarily trying to propagate it across the entire Garo Nation. I suspect the Shadow Lords would. I also su suspect the Shadow Lords would greatly favour an increase in the Lupus population, which the Silver Fangs are supposedly trying to suppress in favour of Homid. Well, does that ever clash with us? Do their feudal wars with vampires in castles and towers in Romania and beyond really bother Pentex operations? The truth is no. The Shadow Lords may well rule the Garo Nation better than the Silver Fangs. The Shadow Lords may well be able to take out vampires left, right and centre. Am I worried personally? Not really. I have Fomori who flank me every night that I have to travel from one building to another. They stink, but they offer sure protection. And I have my own gifts. I do not feel threatened by Shadow Lords because I don't live in a castle. <laughs> I don't surround myself with other vampires. I don't act like an obvious target. And because 
the Shadow Lords are so committed, so focused on ruling their own breed, they're not really at all focused on Pentex. My guide to the Shadow Lords is this. You keep them focused on those things they care about, claiming leadership, destroying their rivals, destroying servants of the worm that don't know any better, namely other vampires. <laughs> Have them do whatever the hell they want. Have them get in fights with black spiral dancers over hives if you have to, and cairns. But the fact is, the Shadow Lord machine is so duplicitous, so full of manipulation, so prone to tripping itself up, because, after all, they're trying to one-up one another as well. While they can outthink other werewolves, whilst they can outthink solitary creatures with age-old systems, that, well, let's be honest, can be outthought by any grammar school student. They are not so intelligent, not so cohesive, that they could ever take out a successfully run Pentex operation. Quite simply, operate where the Shadow Lords are not, and if you must operate where the Shadow Lords are, Run it in such a streamlined fashion. Operate in such a, an hermetically sealed operation that the Shadow Lords just can't get a purchase. Trust me, they will move on to easier prey. The Shadow Lords aren't dissimilar to vampires in that regard. They are not going to pursue and pursue and pursue. They are not the hunters and predators like many of their peers, and this is their greatest failing. They would rather claim the quick victory than fight the long fight. Yes, I consider the leadership of the Garo Nation a quick victory for the Shadow Lords, because we are forever. I am eternal. Pentex is a very strong limb of the worm. It is not about to be cut off by one tribe skilled in manipulations. Yes, they may occasionally get information about a pumping station. They may be able to disrupt a shipment of pharmaceuticals from one Magadon plant to another. But really, does that bother us? Whilst they're celebrating their victory and getting drunk on the excess and taking it out on their peers by saying, look how grand we are, now don't we deserve that chair? Business continues as usual for us. They don't have the stomach for the long fight. All the glory, none of the guts for the Shadow Lord. Thank you.